Hey, what's up everyone, Z here. Today uh, I'm just gonna do a quick tank update. Um, it's been a long time since I, do, I did an update. Uh, there are some changes happening and unfortunately some uh, sad thing happened. Uh, one of my fish died uh, and that was one of my favorite fish. Um, yeah. Okay, let's just get to the fish straight. So as you can see here, I uh, well, I still have this uh, yellowhead jawfish here. Um, however, I used to have a blue spotted jawfish. Well, uh, the blue spot jawfish uh, died. Um, well, the fir first of all, it never kind of settled in my tank. Uh, it just uh, took a different burrows every single day. Uh, today, he might in this burrow. Uh, the other day, we maybe in end up in a different burrow. Um, I even bought some uh, small, like uh, as you can see, some more uh, pebbles, uh, which is good for the jawfish to build up its burrow. Um, but there's one day I found my uh, blue spot jawfish uh, end up in my uh, elegant squirrel. Um, somewhere here, somewhere just inside the elegant squirrel. And the next day it just disappeared. Um, while my feeding, uh, and the after I finished my feeding, a couple hours later it showed up. However, it had all the steam, um, steam marks from this uh, elegant squirrel. At that point, uh, it just pretty much, uh, I think was, uh, we'll say poison or like stunt pretty bad by this uh, elegant squirrel. Um, totally have no reason why uh, you want to play with this elegant, ele 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 well, elegant squirrel. Um, yeah, and as you can see, this was uh, its older barrel. Yeah, the uh, another update is the uh, pink stylo on the wall. As you can see, I fragged two pieces off, um, as it's kind of killing my uh, jackal lantern on the top and also killing my uh, bizarro sapphire on the right. Um, so I kind of just uh, fragged it. Uh, when I fragged it, it somehow came off as a whole piece. Uh, it's very, it, it was very interesting. Um, however, I was able to glue it back. Uh, okay, another update. It's my uh, frog spawn. As you can see, it kind of um, becomes smaller because I kind of frag it. Uh, because it was it was it was stung um, by the torch on the left, and also it was stinging um, my uh, Oregon torch on the right. So I decided to just frag it um, left and right, and it looks kind of awkward right now. Um, yeah, one day I'm just gonna try to kind of make it look better. And all of those are the frags that uh, I kind of I got. Um, I didn't realize how big it was until I kind of, I kind of fragged it. Um, this is which is some of it. Uh, another of it, a lot of them are in my uh, frag tank uh, where my clan is hosting them. But anyway, uh, that's the second update um, or third update. No. Uh, what else? Right, the light. So as you can see on the light, um, I replaced one of my uh, Hydra 26 to the XR15 Blue Gen 5. Um, I crank, I cranked up the uh, intensity to 100% when I first replaced it. Uh, it kind of uh, killed one of my frag. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys next time uh, with the frag update. But uh, yeah, that's the update. Um, currently, I'm using uh, full channel with 60% uh, intensity. Uh, I found out the 60% intensity is almost on par with my other Hydra 26. Um, it kind of doesn't really uh, if you, I just look at the corals, I won't see any differences. Um, 
and I also added a few uh, frags. Um, there's one here. I added this one. Uh, it's a smooth skin. I believe it's a banana locani. Um, and we'll see uh, if it grows well. Uh, this place is kind of lower light, uh, but I think it's still encrusting. So we'll see if it, it grows um, to bigger colony. Um, and on top, uh, I kind of added a little epoxy on top of the uh, Miyake tour. Since it's growing too fast, I want to kind of slow it down. Uh, but it doesn't really damage it at all. I think that they are just growing around it and encrusting on the epoxy that I put on it. Uh, but uh, this is one, one piece of core that I added. Uh, I think it was uh, Orange Shepherd from uh, Candy Coral. Alrighty, on the left, as you can see here, I added one more Gorgonian. Um, it's a very interesting one. Uh, it's a slim branch. However, it's still photo, uh, photosynthetic. Uh, it has a kind of a blue uh, or teal color branch uh, with a little kind of uh, purple or brownish uh, little polyp. Uh, it's very interesting. Right now, I don't think it's opened up. Um, maybe because of the flow or it got hit by some of the torch frags or fragments. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, there's one piece left. That's the problem when you have a mixed reef. Um, as you can see, there's a, uh, one piece floating, floating right there. That's the uh, the torch uh, tentacle, the tip. So when you have a pretty strong flow, sometimes they uh, the tip just uh, get bloated off and start free, uh, free flowing in the tank and it just flowing all around when it lands on one of the SPS or some other coral you will stain them and you will stick on it so if you don't do anything it's gonna kill uh, a big piece of it but that's the uh, problem that you have to deal with when you have a mixed reef with uh, that amount of torch yeah. Uh, yeah, another update is the starfish here. Um, one of its foot got caught in one of my uh, wave makers and it got chopped off. Um, however, right now it's still doing well. Hopefully, you can survive that. Um, yeah, full of uh, sad stories this time. Sorry about that. But uh, and in general, the tank is still thriving. Well, thriving. Um, that's the thing when you have a pretty stable reef tank, uh, it kind of getting, it, it just kind of getting boring. Uh, there isn't much to update other than they are growing. And uh, I haven't run into any issues, uh, knock on the wood so far. Um, haven't added any fish, still uh, recovering from the uh, blue spotted jawfish. Uh, it's currently in my uh, yard under one of my wife's plant. But uh, yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.